All right, ladies, so today I wanted to show you how to convert an application where you've built everything into your server file into a file structure. So right now I just have this file running. We know that it works. You can search for a character. You can view all the characters and we can add a new character. So let's add Luke. Skywalker, he's a Jedi, he's 23, sure, and he's got 2,000 force points. So we're going to add him to the force. And now if we view characters, you see that he's in here as well. So now let's do a little bit of work on converting this file structure. Okay, So I've already made three folders here, data, public, and routes. So let's start with public and we're just going to drag our HTML pages into public. And now if I refresh this page, you see that there's no slash view slash HTML because we've put it into this public folder. To fix this, what we would do is we would just come down here where we're doing this and we're going to say dot slash public slash views and add. Now if we refresh, everything is all good now. We're back to seeing um, the two HTML views that we were expecting. Great, so let's now move our characters and our routes. So for our characters, we're just going to take this JSON here and we're going to cut it. We're gonna come into data. We're gonna make a new file called characters.js. Inside of characters, we're gonna paste this and then down at the bottom, we're gonna do a module dot exports of characters. Great, data's taken care of. Public's taken care of, so let's work on these routes. So let's make two new files. We're going to call this API routes. .js, and we're going to Make another one called HTML routes.js. Okay. So with these, with our API routes, we're going to want to bring in our characters. So our characters equals require dot slash dot dot slash data slash character come back characters then we're going to do a module dot exports whoa can I spell <laughs> exports and this is going to be a function and it's going to take in app and over in our HTML routes, we're also going to do a module.exports function that takes in app. All right, so now if we come back to our server JS here, we're going to grab these ones because these two are our HTML routes. So let's cut these out. And come back over to HTML routes and put them in. So from here we need to do a little bit of editing because we need to go up another level. We need to get out of routes and then into public here. And then for API routes we're going to go over to our server again and we're going to grab everything else and we're going to stick it in our API 
routes. And here we're still good because we've called in this character's data. And now we're dealing with all of that. Our function is closing. And now is this going to work if I refresh this? No, because I don't have access to any of that in here now. So now we've got to bring in our routes into our server JS. So how do we do that? We're going to do require. We're going to say dot slash routes slash API routes. And then if we look over at these API routes, see how this is a function that's taking in app. We need to pass it that app here. So we do that by putting app in parens at the end. So a good way to think of this, this is the function, this is what we're passing it. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, but for our HTML routes, so routes slash HTML routes, and we're gonna pass it app. And now we can see that path is not defined. All right, so here we're gonna take path and we're going to put it in our HTML routes because we're utilizing path here. So now if we refresh, you see that we are on the add page. We can still go and view all the characters that we have. We can search our characters and we can add a character here. So let's add Chewy, who he is a co-pilot. Pilot. He's 35 and he's got um, 900 force points. So we're adding that character and now if we view all characters you can see that Chewy is in the list. And that's how you convert something from having everything in the server file to having it broken up into separate files. This helps with modularity and being able to see things. If you had a really large app you could have you know tens uh, if not more routes, you know, just a ton and that server file could get really huge. This is a really good way to break it up so that you can see like, this is what's dealing with this, this is what's dealing with that, and clear up everything 